Hello, I'm Jay and welcome to Jay Designs. In the last episode, I made a front hitch for this truck. And this episode, I'm gonna show you how I made the winch plate for this winch here. This winch plate is gonna allow the winch to mount to the front or the rear of the truck. That's the whole point of a remote mount winch. So let's get to it. So before we start building here, we're just gonna take a look at the winch real quick. No, no, really, just, just, just look at it. All right, just kidding. So I just want to do a quick first impression on this Smitty built XRC winch. Nine and a half thousand pounds is my variant. Uh, another thing I don't like, it comes with these like armor, they call it. There's one for this side as well. Um, those are going straight, straight in the bucket. I don't imagine that this little plastic piece is going to protect the um, winch any more than that cast piece of aluminum wheel. Uh, maybe it'll protect it from like sun when that's in your bumper, but that's about it. Another thing I don't like about these is these ridges, while they look cool, they're pretty deep. Um, if you get sand or mud falling in here and then it gets wet, it's going to stay in there. And this is a texturized surface, so it's going to be hard to clean in these essentially. Don't really like that. Also, not that I care because these things are going in the trash, but mine showed up with a crack in it. Um, it's a fault, not a feature, right? Trash funny little thing they put on the front here they actually went through the trouble of building this little rubber thing which says read the instructions wear safety glasses and get your hands stuck in some rollers so i got one of the pieces of armor here off of the winch armor um i can't imagine in smittyville intended these things to be actually used as armor i don't i don't think they're going to protect anything i envision what smitty built wanted people to do these things is take them off and go get them powder coated baby blue or painted Whatever color matches your build, um, I have absolutely no interest in that, so I've decided to take them off um, to, to save the half pound or whatever it is that they weigh. I was gonna just chuck them in the bucket, but I think I found a better use for them. Much better. Go ahead and take that off of there. Problem solved. All right, so we're ready to get this winch plate build started. As with most builds, we're gonna start off here at the chop saw, and I'm gonna cut a piece of quarter wall two inch square tube to length. It's two inch because it's going to be going into a two inch hitch receiver. The next step here is just to mark and cut a 45 into this tube. Uh, the point of this is just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and cut a little bit of weight. After that, I'm just going to clean it up on the bench grinder. All right, so we're at the workbench here. We're ready to cut out these two plates here that are going to mount up on either side of this thing. And then the winch will mount to this plate. So let's get cutting them out. So now that I have these three pieces, I'm ready to tack weld them together. This will serve as the beginnings of the remote mount winch plate. You'll notice these big rusty pieces of steel laying on top of the winch plate. Those are what I like to call gravity clamps. They're essentially just pieces of steel filled with more pieces of steel, and consequently they weigh about five pounds. Uh, they're nicer to use than normal clamps because you don't have to fiddle with a mechanical mechanism. You just lay a big weight down on top of everything and your piece will be held in place. Once these pieces are tack welded together, the next step is to mark hole locations for the bolt holes that are gonna go into the bottom of the winch. And after that is to mark the location for the hitch pin. And then we'll take it over to the drill press. At the drill press, I'm gonna drill the hitch pin hole through both sides of the tube. And then the drill press is kind of struggling drilling these holes. So I'm gonna move over to the vise and then drill hitch pin holes out to half inch and then their final size five eighths now you'll see i've got the uh little extension handle on here this guy's important when you're driving really big bits or even you know sort of big bits like half inch because um, when this thing catches it really wants to torque over like that and at such a short distance from the axis of rotation your hand really in it your hand right here isn't enough to hold the drill still so you need this supplementary piece here you'll probably see it when i'm drilling this one Well, 
does. So when it broke through, it's grabbing the bit there, and you see it torque over like that. And that's where this little handle really helps keep you from breaking your wrist. It also makes the drill sit in a really cool tripod mode. <laughs> so after drilling out the hitch pin holes, we go back to the drill press to drill the holes for the bottom of the winch. We drill them out in three sizes, the small, medium, and large drill bit. The large drill bit is 7 16 of an inch. The next step after this is to cut out the gusset plates. They're going to go on the bottom of the winch plate. Here we go. So I've got to clean the corners up on these six pieces, and there's two more to make, but you get the idea. So I got all these beautiful gusset plates all cut out, cleaned up. We're ready to weld them to the winch mount plate. So let's get to that. So there's the beginnings of the, uh, the gussets. Top of the winch plate, underside. There's gonna be another gusset on the front here, but I might shoot it out at a bit of a weird angle because we have this chant view here. We can't have a, a gusset going this way because there's no, no material here to get to, so it'll probably go like that, come out to this other bolt. And then I'm thinking about going in here and just removing material right here. Notice in this welding sequence that before I started welding, I welded the winch plate to the table. This keeps the winch plate from warping too much, or at least that's the idea. So uh, I'm about to cut the winch mount off the bottom of the table, but I just want to talk about some of these cool headphones I wear, which at first some of my own money, mind you. They actually have their ISO tunes, just small in-ear headphones, but they actually have a noise reduction rating, just like the uh, little gummy ear things I put in my ears and the, uh, the big green headphones you might see me wearing sometimes. Um, and obviously they play music, which is great. Um, right here I'm listening to uh, Top Gear, uh, did an interview with Gordon Murray, the famous F1 designer. and. Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to show that because Gordon Murray is all about like lightweight, the lightest possible vehicle ever. Lightweight's important on a vehicle because weight really just dilutes the driving experience. You're always kind of waiting on the weight to respond to your input as a driver. And uh, that's a big build philosophy that I try to follow on my truck. It's hands down just the lightest weight possible thing you could possibly build. So that's why this winch mount plate doesn't have some extensions on it. There's going to be no handles on it like there's normally it normally is on a winch mount plate. That's also why the video is probably gonna come out before this one. It's why I didn't go with a big front bumper. So I got a nice lightweight um, front hitch just to mount this guy too, and then we'll have grill protection and that's it. Anyways, Gordon Murray, really cool guy. Watch his videos, Top Gear's got a couple of them. He just came out with a supercar. Check it out, and you've probably already seen it, but if you haven't, check it out. So in this next step, I'm going to mark and center punch and drill out a bunch of holes in the winch plate. The point of putting all these holes in the winch plate is to create nice little radiuses for all these windows I want to make. I could make sharp corners on these windows, but those sharp corners lead to what's called a stress riser. Um, stress risers are bad. The way to get around stress risers is to just have nice little radiuses. And I'm going to do that by putting holes in it and then cutting between those holes to make the windows. That one's gonna need a bit more enticing. So at this point in the winch plate build, I had actually realized I had forgotten to make these supports for the fair lead on this guy. So what I did is I went and added these kind of like 
these, these brackets that added on and I didn't really like it. They look kind of janky. So I scrapped this one. That's the one you just saw me build. So I built a new one and uh, you'll have to tune in next week to see what happened to this one, but it's uh, something went wrong with it. So I built another one. <laughs> this is the final one here. This one is much beefier than those other two iterations. Some big design revisions here is there's no window on the bottom here, just to add a bit of strength. The top plate is 3 16 of an inch thick and these gussets here, it actually nodes out to the base of this gusset here, which should be stronger. And I didn't forget the fair lead housings. So yeah, tune in next week or actually validate this winch plate. Don't worry, I'm picking up the winch plates. I'm not leaving them here. So here's the winch and winch plate combined together. You can see the fitment right here with the bolts. They almost touch the winch body. There's literally like about a, enough to get a piece of paper in there. I actually went in and shortened these, the fair lead bolts just to tuck that fair lead as close as possible to the winch body. But yeah, I'd say she looks pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed that build. Next week, I'm gonna validate all these components that I fabricated. Uh, hopefully nothing breaks. I'm gonna validate these components by tying the rear of the truck off to a tree and then running this winch line out and taking the winch to full stall. By taking the winch to full stall, we will test the winch to its maximum pulling power and hope nothing breaks. <laughs> I'm Jay, you've been watching Jay Designs, and thank you so much for watching. Follow along with the build at oak underscore taco on Instagram. As you can see right here, I've actually cut off the lettering on the fair lead that used to say Smitty Built. Literally right here, it says Smitty Built, Smitty Built, and it would say Smitty Built right there on top of the fair lead. I mean, that's literally, there's all that Smitty Built within like 12 inches of each other. That, that's really kind of like gaudy styling. Anyways, I just went and cut it off. Cut to that footage now. <laughs> <laughs>